Hello, everyone. Today, our experiment is evaluation of antioxidant dating capacity of food substances with glow sticks. Uh, it contains five aspects. Uh, intended learning outcomes, introduction, chemicals, equipment, experiment, results, and discussions. So first is ILO. Um, after this course, you are expected to explain the luminescence and the chemiluminescence, in plain and classify the reduction and oxidation in redox reaction. Then, I hope you can describe the chemical reaction in glow stick and compare the antioxidative capacity of food substances. So first, what is luminescence? Luminescence is the emission of light by a substance of, for any reason other than a rise in its temperature. In general, atoms of substances emit photons of electromagnetic energy when they return to the ground state from an excited state. There are mainly four excitation sources, photons, electrons, living organism and a chemical reaction. They are also called photoluminescence, electroluminescence, bioluminescence, and chemiluminescence respectively. Today, we will learn chemiluminescence. Chemiluminescence is luminescence resulting from a chemical reaction, such as the slow oxidation of phosphorus. And first, we introduce redox reaction. It's very important. Um, actually, redox is a word which combines reduction and oxidation. An oxidation reduction reaction is a type of chemical reaction that involves transferring of electrons between two species. They are oxidant and reductant. The oxidant gains electrons and oxidation number decreases. This process is called reduction. While reductants lose electrons and oxidation number increases. This is oxidation. Antioxidants can react with reductants. So the oxidation is stopped or slowed down. Here is an example. Hydrogen burning. Hydrogen is neutral and oxidation number is zero. During the burning, one hydrogen atom loses one electron and oxidation number increases to one. This is the oxidation process of hydrogen. So next is a new term, antioxidants. Antioxidants are compounds that inhibit oxidation. Oxidation is a chemical reaction that can produce free radicals thereby leading to some chain reactions that may damage the cells of organisms. Antioxidants such as thiols or ascorbic acid, also called vitamin C, can stop these chain reactions. Antioxidants give an extra electron to the free radicals. After free radical is neutralized, the chain of free radical stops. This reduces your risk of most diseases and slows aging process. So I suggest you guys eat more fresh vegetables and fruits. Redox reactions are very common in biological and food systems. Many naturally occurring substances such as vitamin E and polyphenolic compounds but as antioxidant capacity. The term antioxidant applies to all substances that can retard oxidation. These natural antioxidants are commonly found in vegetables. For example, artichokes, green tea, spinach, strawberries, and some other vegetables have rich antioxidants. Next is the luminescence mechanism of glow stick. 
by mixing the hydrogen peroxide in a glass, glass vial with a phenoxylate ester, a chemical reaction takes place yielding two moles of phenol and one mole of proxy acid ester. The unstable proxy acid decomposes spontaneously to carbon dioxide, releasing energy to excite the dye. When excited dye relaxes to its original ground state, a photon is emitted. The wavelength of the photon determines the color of the emitted light, which depends on the structure of the dye. The reaction releases energy mostly in light with very little heat. So then we introduce the mechanism of this experiment. After mixing the acyl acetate extract of the food sample uh, antioxidants, antioxidants also react with hydrogen peroxide, suppressing the redox reaction involved in the chemiluminescence of glow sticks which causes the decreasing emission intensity of the glow sticks. So the stronger the antioxidant capacity, the weaker fluorescence intensity. In the redox reaction of glow sticks, hydrogen peroxide is oxidant. Phenoxylate ester is a reducing agent. In this experiment, the antioxidative capacity of various food samples will be qualitatively evaluated based on emission intensity. So now we will introduce the material used in the experiment. We will use food with different antioxidants such as green tea, apple, mushroom, paper. We, also, we will also use acyl acetate and glow stick. Um, some glassware will also be used, such as test tubes, a graduated cylinder, small conical flasks, dropper, and glass rod. Besides, we also use cutter, filter, balance, scissors, and tweezers. Now, we will start our experiment. Firstly, we will calibrate the balance. Put the glass plate on the balance, then press tear on balance to clear to zero and wait until the balance is teared. You can see zero in the screen, which means balance is teared. The sample preparation. After calibrating the balance, we weigh around two grams fresh food sample and 0.2 grams of tea respectively. Then we transfer the food to the conical flasks and label the sample and taste tubes. In step seven, we add 10 mil of acyl acetate using similar. And the detailed procedure of step seven are described here. We measure the liquid with help of a marine cylinder and a dropper. Then Eight acyl acetate into conical flask with food sample. Then we cut and smash the sample into small pieces with scissors and glass rod. Eventually, we got the samples. Now we will break the glass tube in glow sticks. After shaking it over and over again, snap the glow stick using cutter and filter the solid until all the liquid is added into the flask. For this procedure, please see video for the detail. Now we snap it. We can see it emit very bright luminances. Then we use the scissors to cut it. 
you know, inside the glow stick, it has some small um, glass pieces, so it's a little bit dangerous. So the demonstrator will help you in the lab. Then we pour all the liquid out and we filter the uh, glass pieces, use this filter. So we make sure we pour all the liquid out because Oh, we need many uh, glow stick liquid. Okay, so now we go to the next step. In step 10, two mil glow stick liquid is measured and added into each test tube respectively. Then, measure two mil of acyl acetate, extract, extract of food substances and aid into each label test tubes. Then, allow the mixture to stand for three minutes. In step 13, we record the fluorescent intensity changes and compare them. We get six samples, paper, Fuji ample, mushroom, green ample, green tea, and a reference. As a result, we found the paper has the strongest antioxidative capacity and green tea is the weakest capacity. Uh, this is all about our experiment too. And here we also leave a question for you guys. Uh, think about it. Is there any other food examples that has good oxidative capacity. Thank you.